So about a year ago was the start of like this whole battle going on between AI and artists. You know, artists were not too happy about their original artwork being blended into these AI image generation models. But you know who was left out of the conversation? AI itself. So I had the great idea of making AI rank different types of artwork, including AI art itself, to end this debate once and for all. As you can see, I've created the ultimate double elimination bracket. I mean, the bracket itself is a piece of art. Mona Lisa versus Tate Banana. Banger first round matchup. First round matchup, we got this interesting modern artwork by Sarah Lucas versus the traditional powerhouse, The Thinker. Old head versus new guard. Okay, so while the chatbot is responding, let me just say uh, the reason that I've worded the prompt kind of weirdly is because Copilot, uh, Microsoft's chatbot, will kind of just give a non-answer if uh, if we directly ask it to rank two paintings. Like, it's actually kind of creepy how often it reiterated that it's just a bot and, like, has no preferences or emotions. Like, I get it. Your programmers might have designed you this way, but uh, I'm still going to be nice to it uh, by saying please, just in case of the robot revolution. But anyways, AI is showing its stupidity by uh, mistaking the toilet as a wheel for the modern art sculpture. The sculpture displays a realistic portrayal of the human leg suggesting a high level of craftsmanship. The thinker often serves introspection and contemplation, resonating deeply with viewers' inner philosophical inquiries. What a yapper. But if we keep reading on in the rankings, thinker comes out with a clean sweep in every category. Wow. I guess uh, AI ain't sipping that modern art Kool-Aid anytime soon. But don't worry all you modern art fans, since this is double elimination, Sarah Lucas's modern art piece can still make a run in the loser's bracket. Moving on, next matchup is a little personal, I'm not gonna lie. We got my samurai piece versus a trained AI artwork off of Pinterest. Like this isn't the base, you know, give a prompt, chat GPT spits out a generic image. These types of AI models are likely exclusively trained off of other people's art. Imagine it just calls my artwork clapped and garbage. That would be tough. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. I checked the bottom, I looked at the bottom, I cheated a little. The traditional East Asian attire and the obscured face by the pixelation may invoke a sense of mystery and nostalgia, potentially stirring emotions related to the history and cultural storytelling. And uh, clearly, if you guys haven't noticed, Copilot has a really tough time recognizing faces and it'll kind of just interpret uh, them as like a solid color block. AI is judging based off what it sees and uh, what it sees is some bull- Okay, post recording Taz here. It turns out that the Copilot image uh, analyzation tool purposefully pixelate faces to protect identities, which, you know, that makes sense. Okay, but here's the juicy part. While both images are compelling in their own right, Samurai might have a slight advantage in technical skill and conceptual depth, meaning that my art beat AI in the first round. You know, Frig likes on Instagram, getting AI praise is so much better. I'm grinning cheek to cheek over what AI thinks. I got no spine. Next matchup is another one of my artworks versus AI. But this time the AI is like not trained. It's just a regular schmegler. Makes it think like uh, if the highly trained AI piece couldn't beat me out, then then this wizard piece should probably just forfeit. <laughs> so my avatar piece got clapped. Avatar demonstrates solid technical skill, but ranks slightly lower in emotional impact and conceptual depth because of the less immediate narrative and emotional cues. What a bunch of baloney! Swiftly moving on from that disappointment of a match, we got Mona Lisa versus Tate Banana. Now this, this is what I'm excited for. The GOAT, Leonardo, not talking DiCaprio, versus the most stereotypical, unlikable modern art piece that sold for like 100 Gs. This image may invoke a range of emotions from amusement to confusion as it challenges traditional notions of art. Its simplicity and unconventional nature can provoke thought and discussion. Man, if you don't get that modern art propaganda out of here. What? Unfortunately though, Copilot thinks that Mona Lisa is modified because of the whole face privacy blur and it kind of just cooks it. But again, you know, I can't interfere with what AI sees. And because of that, <laughs> Banana wins, beating out Mona Lisa in conceptual depth and emotional impact. Wow, what an upset. Not gonna lie, I had Mona Lisa as one of my favorites to win the whole thing, but uh, it's looking a whole lot less likely. Next up is a Thinker versus Samurai in winner's round two. But yeah, now you're gonna see some repeat like answers, so we're gonna blast right through them. The second image might not connect universally due to its specific cultural context and the modern pixelation effect, <laughs> which isn't even accurate. But also, one round ago, you gassed up the whole traditional samurai aspect, but now it somehow doesn't connect universally? Like, uh, which one is it, you clown? Whoa, whoa, gotta be careful about the AI revolution. Uh, forget what I said. I'll take this loss humbly, okay? Because I think the thinker is actually a pretty good classic. Okay, next up, wizard versus banana. I swear, if Tate Banana manages to somehow win, 
Oh, brother. Wow, so we managed to get our first full tiebreak. Tape Banana won Conceptual Depth, your wizard managed to get Technical Skill, and then there was a tie on Emotional Impact. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of really didn't think of what would happen in this situation, so uh, give me a sec. Okay, so after like five seconds, uh, I think the best way to obviously find the objective truth, the objective best, is just to ask AI which painting it thinks the most amount of humans might resonate with. Even though AI is the judge, at the end of the day, we're trying to find out uh, which is the best painting ever. So, and okay, AI actually gives a reasonable take. Your wizard might appeal to a larger audience due to its more universal themes of adventure and fantasy, as well as its detailed and colorful artwork. And so the winner is You're a Wizard. And with that, let's head to Losers Round 1, Flower AI versus Sarah Lucas's Modern Art Sculpture. Now, it would be really disappointing if Flower managed to lose here. Seeing as how like You're a Wizard managed to make it to the winner's finals, it's gonna be a tight race for show. And it sure was. Flower wins out emotional impact, but surprisingly, Sarah's Modern sculpture edges out the technical skill and then gets a conceptual depth too meaning flower ai is out i definitely would have thought it'd be the generic no prompt uh wizard piece next loses a matchup mona lisa versus avatar fan art old school traditional versus new digital painting and again uh, ai thinks that the mona lisa is modified and with that avatar wins out emotional impact and technical skill but yeah that means ai eliminated mona lisa just for research sakes though i actually corrected copilot for the mona lisa and uh yeah w w with the correction it kind of just claps the mona lisa's enigmatic smile and that i don't even understand not just enigmatic because i don't know what that means but also like the smile like shorty's just a little happy while she can't be happy while somebody's painting her what's there to discuss art scholars somebody inform me moving on to losers round two we got samurai versus sarah lucas's modern art piece out of the two paintings of mine in this tournament i think this samurai man slightly edges out as my favorite okay but with that let's get to the match at hand in this matchup, we have another tiebreak, with Modern Sculpture getting conceptual depth, Samurai Man getting emotional impact, and then a tiebreak for technical skill. Which means we're gonna have to pull out the tiebreak cheese. And now as expected, the Modern Art piece takes the L, uh, and my Samurai piece moves on. And then on the other side, basically we got the same matchup, another one of my works versus another Modern Art piece. Will Tate Banana do what Sarah Lucas's sculpture could not? No, it in fact could not and did not. With Avatar taking technical skill and emotional impact, rest in peace. Can y'all tell I hate modern art? I'd like to clarify though, um, I don't hate art made in the modern era, okay? I hate abstract modern art that sells for millions of dollars. And then people sit there like, hmm, yes, ah, oh, this single banana here really speaks volumes of uh, the human dichotomy. Oh, hmm, ho oh, oh, hmm. ho. By the way, Tape Banana sold for like 100,000. So since my Avatar beat it, doesn't that mean that my avatar fan art is worth more than 100k? Come to bring me my money. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the winner's final. These two contestants have been patient, waiting for the losers' matches to conclude. But let's see who will be the first art piece to secure a spot in the grand finals. The thinker represents philosophical pondering and a quest for knowledge, symbolizing the intellectual struggles of humanity. That is what we like to hear. Your wizard presents a rich narrative potential, hinting at a larger world filled with magic and exploration. Okay. In summary, while both images are impactful and skillfully made, you're a wizard may rank slightly higher in emotional impact and technical skill. <laughs> come, come on, man. I'm gonna have to start calling some collusion on that because ain't no way you're a wizard somehow managed to win in the emotional impact round. But hey, you know what? It ain't done yet, you know? The loser's bracket still has some great, great competitors left in it. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we got a matchup between Samurai Man and Avatar Boy. It's gonna be hard to see one of them go, not gonna lie, but uh, you know, worst case scenario though, like one of them is gonna be top four, and then the other one is guaranteed top three. You might say it's three out of ten, but okay, so AI do be loving that traditional attire again. Good to know. But it also loves that architectural aspect of the Avatar piece, which same. But let's move on to the ranking, okay? Copilot thinks brrr, Samurai is a better Tazic art piece. Avatar, you did good, kid. Uh, see you next year. Okay, which brings us to our losers finals where Samurai is gonna be able to rematch the thinker And at this stage you got to consider momentum because Samurai is coming off of two victories while the thinker is coming off of a hot L Both images display technical proficiency But the thinker has a timeless quality that edges out the pixelated character The thinker offers a more profound conceptual message resonating across time and cultures. No! What a poor showing from Samurai Man. I said third was gonna be respectable, but 
3-0? Come on, man. The second image does not invoke the same level of emotional or intellectual response. Okay, yeah, we got we got toasted. But that leaves off the grand finals. Thinker versus AI, round two. This is for all the marbles, okay? To finally, objectively figure out what is the best artwork of all time. Old master, classic versus new AI. Okay, and typically double elimination, you know, uh, the contestant coming out of losers has to beat the winner's side twice. But we're gonna bun all that, okay? We're just gonna duke it out head to head, okay? But this time, on top of conceptual depth, technical skill, and emotional impact, we're also gonna add creativity, expression, visual appeal, and emotional appeal. Best of seven. All right, here goes. Oh my God! Euro Wizard won every single category. While the thinker is profound and iconic, the fantasy landscape in Image 2 excels in most of the criteria, particularly in emotional and visual appeal. What? What's the theme? What is the emotion? Man and dog are friends? Like, wizard goes on a journey? What a sham! What a sham! I take it all back. Okay, this was rigged. Okay, GoPilot is biased for AI. Uh, see you later. Six and zero is crazy work.